Hello folks, I just want to do a quick video uh, just to discuss a few few topical uh, points about grassland management in the midsummer. Um, so we're on a farm here in Southern Ireland in County Cork. It's the last few days of May, first few days of June. Um, we're after an extremely dry spell um, and more dry weather to come. And so we're going to just have a quick chat about, you know, what's happening in the sward at the moment in terms of in terms of growth rates and equally what's how your management needs to change or possibly be adjusted to cope with these high growth rates but equally in the back of our mind we're through a dry spell and it's the, everything in the forecast is to say that the that dry con, those dry conditions are going to last for another week to 10 days at least okay so the first thing is is what's happening in the sward at the moment again as i said it's late may it's early june and we're at our peak growth rate period now for well, let's say in the northern hemisphere in, in the summertime. And, and why is that? So we have extremely long daylight hours. You know, it's bright now up until 10, 10 maybe even half 10 at night. We have high soil temperatures um, without being extreme. Um, at the moment, at the moment, there's still moisture in the ground. Um, and all of those things contribute to, you know, high growth rate. But the other thing that's there in the plant, the physiological aspect of the plant that's that's really allowing for a peak in growth rate at the moment is because we have 50% of the tillers in the sward are reproductive, okay? So that means they're producing a seed head. There's a developing seed head within them and there's huge emphasis in the plant's physiology to, to, for those reproductive tillers to grow on very, very fast. So they'll grow about one and a half to two times quicker and faster than the other vegetative tillers that are at the base of the sward. And all of those things coming together means that now we're getting, we're getting anywhere from growths probably averaging between 80 per day and some farms reaching, you know, peak growth rate of maybe 140, sometimes maybe even 150 per day um, at the moment. Okay. And so I, I have a clump of tillers here um, on this ward. This is a cover of about, it's probably gone just too strong for grazing. It's about uh, 1,600, probably 1,700 available cover. Um, so it's about three one, three two, maybe three three or so in total cover terms. So here, again, I have a clump, a clump of tillers, and kind of what you can see from this is that this tiller is reproductive, this one is reproductive, uh, that one there is reproductive, and this one is in reproductive. And again, there's about eight or nine tillers within this clump here. So again, fifty percent of them are reproductive. Okay, and equally then we have these little daughter. Um, vegetative tillers here right down at the base of the sward they're not reproductive they're vegetative um, but when these reproductive ones are in place these daughter ones at the base of the sward are being suppressed because again the plant's plant wants to focus on producing seed head producing seed so it can reproduce and that's that's what the plant wants to do the problem with allowing so much stem into the sward is that these reproductive tillers are very poor relatively very poor feeding value compared to the vegetative tillers okay so this is the main reason why at the moment again from talking to farmers at the moment where we're hearing that there's there's a drop in mid-season um protein milk protein especially um and maybe even a slight rise in in milk fat and that's and, and it's because of these guys you know they're poor feeding value they have a lower organic matter digestibility they have a lower crude protein um which is needed for high milk protein Okay, you need, I, preferably you want high ME, high organic matter digestibility to keep your proteins high. And you need high, um, high crude protein within the sward to keep your liters high. Okay, so while these are in the sward, it's suppressing the milk protein um, in, in your milk. Okay, and so ideally then the, you know, the, the, way to, the, way to, the way to convert this sward back to being a vegetative sward is by grazing low or cutting low and that's why your residuals are so important okay so what happens is the cows come along the cows ultimately come along and and uh, graze graze off the sward okay ideally to a residual of you know of you know four centimeters four four and a half centimeters this time of year is quite adequate okay so this is what's left then in the sward and effect effectively that's the stubble now what happens now is that Effectively, the seed head in these reproductive tillers was up higher. So you've removed that and you've removed effectively what is the brain for the tiller. So now we'll show you in another clip in the sward that has been grazed. These butts 
that are remain, they die, okay, because they effectively you've removed removed the the brain. But what what is allowed to grow on then are these daughter tillers. These little daughter tillers, there's a really really small one there now. When that reproductive tiller beside it was in place, this little one was being suppressed, okay. And so now once this 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 uh, dominant tiller has been, this reproductive tiller has gone, now this one will grow on. And these are very, very good feeding value. These are high ME, high organic matter digestibility, high crude protein, and these are the ones that we want growing on for the rest of the season. And again, cow performance then recovers, um, especially for meat protein, and ultimately cows perform well on it. So that's what's happening on swards at the moment. Um, Again, just look at this this ward here. Again, about 50% of the tillers in here are reproductive. They're pretty soon they will begin to they will begin to, the seed head will begin to you can see kind of flag leaves here. Yeah, here we are. Here's some of them now. Where the seed head you can see the seed head is beginning to pop out the top. Okay. Now this particular paddock is dominated by late heading varieties, which um they typically have heading dates first in the first 10 days of june and that's shown here we're in we're in i think it's today's the second of june so yeah seed heads are just beginning to pop out okay if you compare it to the paddock that's beside us here that paddock is dominated by more intermediate heading varieties um which have an earlier heading date and you can see the seed head development in those ones is a lot more advanced again about 50 percent of the tillers there are reproductive as well but you can see the seed head has it has popped out, popped out the top. And again, that's just a comparison between these two paddocks, intermediate heading varieties versus late heading varieties here. Okay. So what one, uh, just from talking to farmers, what a lot of farmers are experiencing at the moment is this a massive growth in the last two or three weeks, you know, 80, 90, 100, 120, 130 of growth. And then all of a sudden they see a drop in growth. Maybe a week later, even though there's no change in the conditions, they get, there's a drop in growth. And what is happening there is just the transition between reproductive and vegetative. Again, these reproductive tillers are growing fast. They contribute to high growth. Then once you remove them, you either graze them or cut them. It takes time for those vegetative tillers to kick on, to grow on. So you have high growth, high growth, high growth, and then all of a sudden low growth. But then those re vegetative tillers kick on again, and you go back up to hopefully 70s, 80s, 90s in a vegetative sward of very good feeding value. Okay. Hi again. So we, we, we've already mentioned about the difference between reproductive and vegetative tillers at this time of the year in this late May and June period. Um, so I suppose we looked at them when those tillers were still in place, but this is a sward post-grazing. Again, you can see with a reasonably good residual. Um, so what happens to tillers, these reproductive tillers and these vegetative tillers, once they're grazed off. Okay, so here's a clump of tillers. You know, there's a combination of ones that were that were reproductive tillers and are vegetative tillers in this clump here. So we've said already that once you graze off a, a reproductive tiller, what remains, the butter, the base, dies. So again, here, just to point them out. So here, example, there's three of them there now. They were reproductive tillers, which were grazed off. I would say possibly in the previous rotation, looking how old they are looking there. Now here's one that was grazed off, I would say possibly maybe yesterday or the day before. So there's a tiny, tiny bit of growth here, but that that is not true growth. Effectively, this tiller is dying, is dying off now because we've removed the seed head, which is considered the brain. And there's loads of other ones like that within this, within this um, patch here. There's another one. There's another one there. Uh, there's another one there, another one there, okay? So they're the ones, they're the reproductive tillers that are now dead. But here then, this one is a vegetative tiller. This is the one of the ones that was right down at the base of the sward here, which was being suppressed when these reproductive ones were in place. There's a whole lot more of them there. Anything that's green and growing and active and has regrowth on it is a vegetative tiller, okay? So they're the ones now that are going to make up the sward basically for the rest of the summer and for the rest of the year. They'll grow on and they're going to be the, they're going to be the tillers that, the, that these, it's young stock that's grazing here. They're the ones that are going to be grazing um, in hopefully in about 20, 21 days, maybe 22 days. 
they'll be back up here at a cover of hopefully maybe 12, 13, 1400 available cover, 27, 28, 29,000 in total cover, back for grazing again. And these are the ones that are really, really good feeding value, very high DMD or OMD, organic matter digestibility, very high crude protein, possibly in the, possibly maybe if it's dominated by vegetative tillers, it could be well into, well over 20% crude protein in the sward. Um, you know, for the rest of the summer, and that's what you want. It's exceptionally, it's exceptional feed for uh, grazing young stock. They need a high protein diet to grow, um, and to to keep on keep on target in terms of weight for age. So it's important again to get the residuals low, so that you're removing these reproductive tillers now, and allowing the sward to go back to vegetative tiller to support very high uh, either grazing or milking cow performance or young stock performance um, for the rest of the year. Okay.